Hello lovelies, welcome to Intuitive Tarot with me, Suzanne. The messages I've got for you today are... <laughs> longing for love. I don't know if that was me or I just felt like I caught that. Start a new relationship. When someone leaves, it's because someone else is meant to arrive. Look how on guard this female is. There's a male coming in and she's like, hmm. Look how on guard she is. Yeah. You've got a little bit of a wall of protection surrounding you right now because you're not willing to let anybody hurt you, which I just said in my last reading, which is a bit weird. This one was in reverse, but I'm going to take it. Dangers of lustful, lustful relationships. Lust is a tool, a desire, a trap. Yield the first and you can take someone's soul fall into the second and they will take yours but it's in reverse i feel like somebody's proving your first opinions of somebody i feel like they're proving you that your first opinion was wrong of them it's kind of you judge somebody for being like an f boy or an f girl um, and they only wanted one thing. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. You're looking at somebody and you're thinking they're only wanting one thing. There is no way you're going to go anywhere near them because you only see them as wanting one thing and you want more than that. You want stability in a connection. You just want, don't want a one-time thing. You want it to be for keeps forever. This person um, <laughs> is coming in to be like, see, I knew you had me wrong. I knew you had me wrong. Like, live in harmony. True love is about growing as a couple, learning about each other, and never giving up on each other. That's a beautiful picture as well. How content and how settled this couple is together. Nothing else matters. It's just you and this person. Get the courage and dare. Being deeply loved by someone gives you the strength while loving someone deeply gives you the courage. Get the courage and dear and that is a picture longing for love we'll go about longing for love it is the first need of our nature the loudest cry of our heart praying for them doing whatever you can to manifest them. Going to sleep, you're thinking about them. Waking up, you're thinking about them. In the dream space, you're, you're dreaming of them where it feels so vivid that it actually feels like you're with them in the dream space. It feels like real life. But you didn't feel that your heart at first was safe with this person. They were so attractive and you were like so boiled over by how attracted you were to this person that you kind of like pulled your energy back. Like how she's pulled back, that's what I feel like you was at first. But this person has earned your trust. They kept on turning up in a beautiful energy, caring, understanding, and actually giving you the time that you needed is 
I don't feel like this person is hounding you, is on you. Come on, let's go on a date. Come on, let's go on a date. Or begging you for a date. I don't feel like this person's doing it. I feel like they're giving you the space, but they're still around you. It's like your your friends. You both have mutual friends, so you're connecting. You're when you're going out with your mutual friends, you're bumping into this person. You feel that spark. You definitely feel that lust. The more you, time you spend with this person, the more this person is absolutely grown on you, and the more you're getting to adore this person, to the point you're reaching out to them and wanting to like. I did hear hook up, but I don't feel like it's just about hooking up. I feel like it's being in each other's presence, spending hours and hours just being with each other and maybe hooking up, but I don't feel like it's all about that. This is your message, my loves. I hope you get your clarity and understanding on your current situations. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.